what we're looking at. Okay, so the left-hand one is your before. Mm -hmm. Your right-hand one is your okay. after. Okay. Now, we obviously can't see tension, but no, I think no. you are aware of it now and you kind of see that, especially yeah. for me, for most golfers, that right thumb. Look at a lot of people's golf clubs. There's like a little groove or a crevice in their grip they've been squeezing down yeah. for deal. like just yeah. wearing it away, okay? If that right thumb is loose, the forearm, the bicep, the shoulders, the back, everything's going to be a lot looser. You can now function as you want to. Mm -hmm. If we stiffen things up, the body now is going to be restricted. Can't move as effectively, okay? Now, the thing we talk about in terms of your grip now, you can see on that left hand side the logo, the grip there is a bit visible. Yeah. It's a bit blurry this one, but you still can't see where that white logo is. Yeah. Okay? So you, you can see the difference in your the left hand, grip. okay? Yeah. So your left hand is a little bit more over mm. in its more, as we say, it feels unnatural, mm. but technically a more mm. natural arm hang. Mm. As we said, your arms, when they hang down from the shoulders here, the palm would kind of face in a little bit. It wouldn't face up to the sky or no. up towards the golf ball, okay? So being a lot looser there is definitely going to help, okay? Now, in terms of as we go back, what you did have, because of that grip there as you went back, the face was now sort of opening up a little bit as you got to the top of the backswing. And then the movement now, you see your body moving onto the left, onto the, as we look on the left, onto your back foot, yeah, look at my trying to hit the golf ball to yeah. the left, elbow lifting off the ground. Yeah, I mean, he's a real sort of pop away. That, that's just, yeah, please yeah. go left. Yeah. Now, that a lot of times is like a default fail safe to just do whatever you can to stop this shot, okay? If we go back to your practice swing, what we look for in terms of the swing, again, the better grip there, same good backswing, release through. Put my arms up again. A little bit with less speed, yeah. you see, but that's a better movement here to yeah. target, okay? Now, as I say, the left arm bending as it does is yeah. not going to eliminate straight away and maybe never completely eliminate. But no, if we no. can improve its no. movement, and I think a way get away from that thought process of, I must keep my left arm straight. Because the more you try to keep it straight, the more it's going to bend in the wrong direction. Yeah. It's got to bend somewhere. It can't stay straight. It's physically important. If this arm's over here pointing out perfectly straight, unless your right arm suddenly gets longer than your left arm, mm -hmm. you can't get down there. <laughs> so right. I'm going to borrow my arm for a game of golf and just to reattach them on, the, on every <laughs> shot. Okay, so, so the left hand grip's going to be key. In terms of the takeaway, we talked about that sort of club going back, a little bit kind of toed down, sort of almost yeah. like a hooded feeling with yeah. the golf club. Okay. So the club face, I suppose, would be a way to think of this, is, is pointing at the golf ball for longer in its takeaway. So it's still kind of facing the goal. It's not sort of rotating too much. Now, with a better grip, that would be easy to do. Yeah. When, excuse me, when your left hand was round here, yeah. you can't, no, <laughs> you can't right. go that way. No. So setup no. is going to be key to help you achieve these things. So the left wrist now is a bit more kind of pointing down at this point. Top of the back, so now it's going to be slightly shorter because you're not able to cup your wrist quite so much, which would be good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the face now will remain in a squarer position yeah. as you come back to the golf ball here. Now the left arm's a little bit bending there as we expect, and that's why I was a little bit on your back for now. You finished here, yeah. and sort of this last move here kind of sort of shifts you to your left side. Yeah. But you can see as you're in the golf ball, there's a little bit of that movement back, which is why we're just catching the bottom of the golf club. Obviously, if you lean this way yeah. and go up. And yeah. this arm bends. Those three movements there have got to be maybe a quarter of an inch different of up, back, yeah, and elbow yeah, bend. You catch your top, you catch your top of the golf ball, aren't you? Yeah. So you're going to be in these low shots, okay? Then, yeah. With your irons, it was a heck of a lot better. There's a lot more movement kind of this way and this way and this way. We haven't got the, the, the video in here and stuff, but there's a mm. much better movement with your irons. Yeah. Hence why your 7, 8, 9 arm is going a really good distance and mm -hmm. nice and straight. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we can practice that grip. Again, what you're looking for is your checkpoint. I mean, ideally, that little V and the thumb and forefinger makes a bit more kind of with the right hand, a bit more up to the, the, the back shoulder there, okay? Yeah. So a little bit a round. Bit in time, that'll become more and more natural. You can just stand there, grab the club, yeah. at home, wave that club in the air, yeah. get used to it, so it becomes more and more natural, okay? I would encourage you, as I say, to do that. Start with your left arm down by the side and grip the club from there with just your left hand. Mm -hmm. It would generally sit in a more natural mm -hmm. position yeah. rather than trying to grip it like, I am aware you. now, even now, yeah. just, I might not be doing it, but yeah, I am yeah. aware of the difference in the feel of exactly. the actual grip. First part of change is understanding what you're trying to do. Yeah. Most people try and change, they've got no idea what they're trying to change. Yeah. They're changing the wrong things anyway. Yeah, they've got yeah, no yeah. idea what the change is actually going to yeah. be. So yeah. they get themselves tied in knots, okay? So, as I say, summarise that. Left hand grip better yeah. in terms of position. Yeah. Right hand grip pressure in terms mm -hmm. of squeeze with the right hand, obviously, yeah. okay? And that will take the tension out of your arms. And then in terms of the swing, we're trying to get the same kind of L position on the way back. You do well on the way back here, lovely. We're trying to mirror yeah. that movement on the way through yeah. by letting your arms and your body and everything rotate. We are not 100% keeping that down. No. Never, ever, no. ever into the practice swing. The only time I'll give you leeway for that is when you're putting. Yeah. Okay, because you're basically there doing that. There's not, there's yeah. not much movement there at all. Yeah. But long shots, even chipping and pitching, your head does not want to stay down. Because the more it stays down, yeah. the more it goes up. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah.
Does that make sense? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Good stuff. No.